What's going on? It's Pernell Bobby here, checking in with the Soulmate Twin Flame. What's the difference? Loving it. Gonna give it to you, and I'm gonna do it in my boxers because I can. <laughs> okay, so listen, if you're here right now, you wanna know about the Soulmate and the Twin Flame relationship. For starters, I did just get to reopen up. Right now, I'm only running $44 to give you natal chart readings and some interpretations. Okay, it's actually been a very um, rewarding practice for me in a sense where I just really love astrology, quite frankly. Uh, as, some, as somebody as a Scorpio rising, my ability to dissect and with my Aries flame that I have for a lot of the domination in my chart to just go forward and explore and pioneer things. And now I'm pioneering things with that Scorpio rising binoculars, those, that scope, I can see things beyond what you want to even be seen okay so if you're looking for that check the link in the bio and now let's get back to you can schedule that you can book it on Calendly. you'll see the link now let's get back to the soulmate twin flame relationship boom welcome Woo! freedom alchemy Science! More life! Okay, so now you are here. You want to know about the soulmate. You want to know about the twin flame. I'm going to start with the twin flame because I think it's going to better easily explain the dynamic of the soulmate. Okay, when which one comes, what they may mean. I'm going to give you real life experiences. So for anybody that's out there who is actually a twin flame of mine, anybody that's out there that's a soulmate of mine, soulmates, there are many. Uh, I mean, no offense to any of you. This is for the people. Okay, I am using my real life experiences to help the people, to help guide you in areas that I didn't necessarily have guidance in. Okay, this is part of my calling. It's part of my ability to use my intuition, my wisdom and my, my Aries entrepreneurial pioneering ability to tread new waters to give you the information to give you the potent stuff and to do it without fear okay twin flame if you are thinking that you have a twin flame relationship you're gonna know because number one it is extremely magnetic okay you cannot deny a twin flame relationship you cannot def defy the twin flame dynamic when you have a twin flame, you have to know that it is one soul. All right. You have to look at yourself as like, I am here as one soul split into two. And oftentimes it's the complete opposite dynamic. Okay. So you are one's here, one's here. One's black, one's white. One's yin, one's yang. And without each other, they just don't feel like a complete soul in the beginning. Okay, so here's what the, the, the twin flame is here for like a divine intervention It's here for a divine purpose. Okay, it has an actual reason. A lot of times it is for healing purposes. Okay, so you have some childhood trauma. You have some things that have limited you from really stepping into your light, walking into your success, healing your wounds, allowing you to honor and pour into yourself. This is where the twin flame dynamic comes in because it's going to be the perfect mirror. Okay. You're going to look at this. You're going to say, I have money problems and your twin flame is going to show you that you have money problems. You're going to look in the mirror. You're going to say, um, I have codependency issues. Okay. I get anxious when, you know, you don't send me a message. Okay. Your twin flame is going to be one to show you to. It's a mirror image of everything that you need to heal. It's a mirror image of everything that when you split that one soul into two, it's the mirror image of everything that you are missing from your counterpart. And it is very, very in your face, right? Like it's not kind in a sense. It's not gentle, especially in the beginning. You're going to know when you come together and be in, it's going to be like, yo, who is this radiant light? Who is this, 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 this radiant light? Like who is this person who makes me want to venture deeper into myself to heal these, these certain things, these certain traits? These certain anomalies, these certain, you know, childhood traumas. Who wants, who makes me want to do the shadow work to, to really talk to my inner child, All right? That's going to be the twin flame type dynamic. In the beginning, you're going to clash. You, you know, first you're going to come together. It's going to be like, wow. It's like, it's like freaking adrenaline. It's like, oh, 
You just can't get enough of it, quite frankly. And then you split. It's a very common dynamic with a twin flame, but you split. You almost always split, especially the first time, the second time, the third time. Each time you split, usually it'll be um, not so intense. The intensity starts to, starts to, I'm going the wrong way. The intensity starts to lower itself every time. Okay, the intensity has become less and less and it comes less and less based off of the amount of work, the amount of healing you did on your own. Your twin flame cannot heal you. Okay, this is something that needs to be understood. Your twin flame cannot do the work for you. Your twin flame can mirror image and show you what you need to work on, but you usually see that for yourself. It's not your twin flame telling you, I need you to work on your inner child. I need you to start being this. I need you to not be codependent. It's more like you just see it. You feel it. It's intuition. It's innate. It's like in your blood. It's, in your, it's, it's just in your DNA. You just know. You have an instinctual knowing what needs to be done because you're looking at this as you're looking at yourself. It's the twin flame dynamic. Okay. What's important about the twin flame dynamic I need to mention is it can be toxic, but only when you don't separate when you need to separate. Okay. When you try to keep fighting and going against the grain and you're like, why would the world give me this? This such a beautiful creation, this beautiful connection, this, 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 this heart opening, eye opening, this heart like warming connection and then take it away. And then when you try to fight that and when it's, when it's supposed to be gone, that's when all the stress comes. Okay. Another dynamic about the twin flame relationship. You have the runner, you have the chaser. In my personal situation, I was the chaser, right? I was the chaser. The, the codependency type uh, traits were really existent. And then you get the runner who has like the dismissive emotional behaviors. They're just like emotionally not there for you, period. Like, <laughs> boop. It's just like if you're expecting it, the more you expect it, the more you chase, the more and the further they run to the point where they don't actually look back. You know, and that's when it starts to get more and more painful because then you feel it. You're a one soul. So you're one soul who just keeps going the opposite direction until you come back and you go the opposite direction. Then you come back and you go the opposite direction. So I've never been at the point where I'm at a point where like, OK, you know, <laughs> I'm here, you're here. That only happens when the runner stops running and the chaser stops chasing. When the runner stops looking at you know the love and affection that comes from the chaser as like a disability as a codependency as you know a need that somebody has taken their freedom and then when the chaser stops looking for the runner to support them to love them to give them the the dependency that they crave that they may not have gotten in childhood okay to give them you know what they want so that they don't even feel like they're chasing anymore until the running stops and the chasing stops, you're not going to come together in a peaceful, peaceful union with your twin flame. It's not going to happen. In, in fact, it's going to be the opposite. And you're going to clash in a way where you're magnetic. You want to come. You're magnetic. You want to come. The way I look at this is Hancock. You ever seen that superhero movie, John Hancock, Will Smith? And he has the, the superwoman, the, the lady black white not that the color matters but oftentimes it's always a complete contrast complete opposite contrast um and as will smith comes together with his wife he feels a strong connection he's just magnetic it's like you don't have to necessarily like the person at first but then you eventually just start falling for them and you're like oh my god i'm so deeply in love with you but the closer they came the more the storm began to start the more they thought that like we're going to be together, like, oh, sh you're for me, the more the storm just started going <laughs> thrashing, crashing and just beating everything out of the way. OK. And as they split apart, the storm starts to settle back down. Same dynamic with the twin flame relationship. Until you heal. All right. That's the main thing. It's, it's here for a divine purpose. The divine purpose and its intention is to heal. It's to not depend on what you are missing from your one soul. Okay, you got your one soul, and you guys are split, but when you're able to love yourself with the codependent person, the chaser, okay, when you're able to love yourself, you're able to value yourself, value yourself, value yourself, really give that worth to yourself, that mirror image is no longer necessary. You don't need the twin flame for that, okay? And for the chaser, you know, 
a lot of times, like again, it'd be that dismissive behavior when they can um, also love themselves, you know, a lot of it too, because they may have not gotten that within, within their youth, okay? But a lot of times it's more about like the shadow work, okay? Each of us have a shadow work. And this is where like, if you really wanna get into your natal charts, I can help direct you to where you wanna do some of this shadow work, okay? So like for me, in my marriage sector, I'm, I have the Taurus, I have the Gemini, and I have um, the Libra, okay? So just to give you an example, I'll give you like a real life example of my life. So my Libra in marriage is like the shadow side of the Libra, the Libra is I partner, okay? It rules the seventh house. And the seventh house is I partner. So the Libra, all about harmony, but the Libra can't take anything that's disharmonious, okay? The Libra struggles with things that are not balanced. And the shadow side of that is, um, what is the shadow side with the Libra in that? That they can't take anything that is not in harmony. So even a, a disagreement or a discussion that may be healthy for their growth, they really struggle with that, okay? And if you, ha if you have it in your seventh house, okay? This is important to understand. Now you're looking at like Taurus. What's well, some of the Taurus? Taurus, like warm, loving. They rule the house of money, the second house and money and possessions and values and self-worth. Okay, so when you were looking at the shadow side of this, a lot of times it'll come in possessiveness. Okay, possession, second house possessions, but possessiveness within the relationship. Okay, so you'll attract partners that may have possessive tendencies, or you may have the possessive tendency, either or. Um, you'll attract partners within that Taurus where the shadow work needs to happen, where um, you know you may not value yourself with money so much. Okay, you may have issues with your value and money so your your partner your twin flame will mirror that all right for the gemini what's the gemini gemini in the shadow side they'll attract partners who are unfaithful they'll attract partners who will have another relationship on the side while they're in a relationship with you and they'll be very sneaky about it all right it'll be like a, a version of portrayal but with a twin flame relationship you always know even when you don't want to admit you always know okay and the twin flame that that dynamic purpose in that would be to show and shine light on those shadows now the key is with the twin flame you have to you have to split in a way you cannot do the work your partner can't heal you and you can't heal your partner your partner cannot heal you and you cannot heal your partner you cannot heal each other okay you can only see the mirror you can breathe take some breaths <sighs> okay now your emotions are not so much in the way of the observation, the facts that you get to see. Now you can look and you can see the facts. Now you get to see the facts. Now you can see where do you need to go from here? But it oftentimes is on your own journey. All right. This is the book Objective Empathy that I'm writing. I'm in the editing phases right now. It's less about editing. Editing is easy. It's more about communicating the proper idea with the publication company. And we're doing a really good job on that. But that technique is directly from the book. Breathe, observe, make a new action. Okay, off of the new observation, the new facts you're seeing. So that covers like the twin flame. If you want more on that, I want to get over to the soulmate now. If you want more on that, comment down below. Um, if you're looking for those readings again, please go ahead, check out. Uh, right now they're only $44. And this is whatever the date by September 23rd, 2020, it's going up to $88. I'm telling you now. So it's a really good time to get it. Those slots are feeling. They were full. They're opened again. I got more time. Um, I'm in a new spot. I'm in a new home. I got my new Zen thing going on. Soulmates, okay? Make the comments, anything you got, and I'll give you more because I, I know so much about the Twin Flame dynamic at this point. I'm giving you my real life, you know? I'm not, I'm not giving you no BS. Soulmate. Um, soulmate is like the complete opposite. Soulmates are like people that they come when you've done the healing, okay? They come usually after twin flame type dynamics. If you were even aware of your twin flame, you know, you're not always aware. Usually you always know, but a lot of us can be in denial. Okay. But when you are aware and you've done the healing, you've done the work, you took some time for yourself, you learned to date yourself, you gave yourself time to grieve from your, from that, the chaos that a twin flame dynamic can bring. You gave yourself time to just be alone, just be by yourself, just to, to go through the emotions of what that mirror image has shown you. This is when the soulmate comes, okay? The soulmate is really known rather quickly, and it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. This is important to understand. A soulmate can be a friend, okay? Semit, you're out there. I know you for a fact. We have a karmic cycle, okay? We have 
died and been born again, died and been born again. And my friend Sammy and I, uh, you could look, he's probably on my channel somewhere. He is a soulmate of mine, okay? Magnetic, you know, it's calm, it's harmonious. We motivate each other, we support each other in ways where we don't need to say, yo, how can I support you today? How can I motivate you today? We instinctually know what the person's feeling. We instinctually know where the person's at. It's calm, it's harmonious, it's grounded, okay? Right now we are in Virgo season for September. That's gonna change eventually, but right now it's Virgo season. Very grounded, methodical time period. Um, your soulmate is someone who keeps you feeling alive, but you don't need them. You know, you're alive on your own. It just helps to motivate and augment your, uh, your state. Now we also got to talk romantic. So, you know, I'm really, I'm really enjoying this. Okay. So I've met both. I've met twin flame. I've met, uh, I've met a soulmate. You know, you see the smile, you see the smile on my face, you see the smile on my face. And I, and, and I want to, uh, I want to take a second to, to bring some attention to this. Like I'm not making this video to hurt anybody in my life. That's current, past, present, future. None of that. I'm not, I'm not doing it for that reason. Uh, I'm doing that because it is my real life. Number one, you know, I'm not looking to hurt anybody on either side, but I got to give you the facts, you know, and, and it, there's no other better way I know how to speak than from truth. All right. So this is my truth. But I'm smiling, okay? I'll be honest, I'm, I'm smiling. Um, you know, I, I came to Columbia to find my wife. You know, I say wife, and that, that's, a, that's a, to me, that's a bold, strong term. I don't really even care to get married. It's not really like my thing. Like, you know, partner is probably the closest term, but it's like even that, like, I don't really care. Like, for me, it's like something that's understood, all right? And when you meet a soulmate, it's something that's just understood. You guys have the same values in a sense. Uh, you know, you could be from two different worlds, but you don't have to be. You know, it's not a matter of like, oh, you know, you guys compliment each other, but it's not a matter of like, oh, you're one soul that's split into two. No, like you're two different souls. You meet a soulmate, you're two different souls and your souls are attracted to each other and it's a very harmonious, very calm bond. OK, you guys grow each other. You guys, you know, uh, really want to be around each other. You guys, <laughs> you really enjoy each other's company and you and you just fit. You just mend. You just bond. And I think what's so lovely about this is like, it's not like the twin flame dynamic in a sense where like, you know, twin flame dynamics, there's always going to be moments of chaos. Like I'm talking like beyond chaos. I'm talking like extreme chaos. I'm talking like for myself, like, you know, even you could be worlds apart with a twin flame and it's like, and, and this is the case. This is the, this is the case in my case. My twin flame is in, I don't even know what country she's in right now. Um, and I'd feel my heartbeat. I'd feel my heart. And it, it, I have so much anxiety to the point where me as the chaser, I would take on that anxiety as my own, not just as a chaser, but I also have a, a lot of cancer in my blood. So like my south node is in the cancer. So it's all about family, right? It's all about family and taking care of the family and feeling into their emotions. I have Pisces in my fourth house and that is going to show you um, that, you know, you kind of had a, a mysterious childhood. You don't really remember. Like, I don't really remember my childhood. I spent a lot of time beating myself up trying to remember that. Uh, but as a part of that, that cancer and that Pisces, those two water signs, their emotions are so intense. I had the ability to, um, you know, bond with my family because I'm also, am, am, you know, also have Sagittarius in my chart and, and my, my Jupiter in the ninth house, which is like I'm here to travel and expand and, you know, traveling in the ninth house and the higher learning, learning more, higher learning doesn't require me to be around my family. You know, in this this lifetime I have that north node rolling and this lifetime I'm in a Capricorn. So it's about it's about the work, it's about getting the money, right? It's about the success. It's different. But the south node, the opposite end of that spectrum is the cancer. And with that Pisces in my chart, just to give you some examples of like this is really me, right? Um this is how I can help you do some of the shadow work in your life. I really want to really connect with you. So you know don't stunt on this. Really let's let's get home on this. Click that link, schedule that that call. I got my calendar open right now and it's gonna close quick, I promise you. Um But just to give you some of this stuff, right? And so uh I would feel my heart. You know, I'd feel the anxiety of like of the twin flame. But in the beginning I took it on as was my own. But I started recognizing it wasn't my anxiety. Like I don't have, I'm not an anxious type of person. I don't have the anxious type of mentality. But I do have the type of spirit where my junk connects with others. You know, um, not just twin flame, mom, sister, dad, everybody. All right. Um, but with the soulmate, there's nothing abrupt. 
in a sense. Your heart's not aching, okay? Your mind's not running crazy. If it's running crazy, it's running crazy because you're really enjoying your time. You know, you got somebody that's bringing you a smile. You got somebody that, uh, that just understands you, that you don't really have to say much and they, they get it. And the Twin Flame does as well, but it comes at the same time as part of a cost in a sense. Twin Flame has a dynamic where it is here for a purpose. And even though you guys are somehow, some way, you're going to come back together. You know, you also need to respect when it's not that time. All right. You as an individual, don't worry about what your partner's doing, what your partner's thinking. Um, don't worry about it. Don't be looking for them. OK. A lot of times that'll be the runner dynamic. The runner, once they once they are running, running, running so far, they eventually recognize like when they look back, like, oh, snap, the chaser's not chasing anymore. They start kind of looking. The chaser, a lot of times. They'll, they may be looking prior, but when they're not looking, they're just not because they can't handle it anymore because it's like they just give, 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 right? And it doesn't make the runner or the chaser better or worse. It doesn't make either one better or worse. It's just a dynamic, okay? So don't take this the wrong way. Anybody out there, if you know you're the runner, you know you're the chaser, don't take it the wrong way. Like, understand it, it's just a dynamic, okay? And that dynamic has its properties, and it's better just to be aware and come aware of these properties so that you can, you know, better suit yourself. Because we have to think about this. Like, the reason why twin flames differ from soulmates is twin flames are souls that are connected for eternity. They're always going to be connected, okay? A lot of time when they hit that split, it's going to be from one to two years. But I've also seen and know people that has been three to five years. And you can also be very sure that it may not be this lifetime again, okay? I think usually it is in the same lifetime again. It could be 30 years apart, it could be five. A lot of times it's just one to two years. Um, but, you know, you can't bank on, you know, waiting for that person to come back. You can't do it. You can't do it. I mean, obviously you can, but I would hope you don't. Uh, I don't want to, I tell you, because it's stressful. There's a lot of anxiety involved. There could be depression involved. There could be a lot of, um, you know, too much attention on your partner or who you want to be your partner and not enough attention on your own self-worth, your own self-value. And as you avoid yourself, you also repel your partner that you think you want so badly. Or if you do want them so badly, like you repel them. So if you did want to bring them back in, leave them alone if that's what you wanted. No matter what, like, you're going to come back together in some way, shape, or form. And we need to recognize the twin flame dynamic, okay, what's crucial about this is that, like, you understand that, like, the only thing that's really keeping you apart is your human, your 3D, your worldly things. I can touch Buddha. I don't know if that's bad in some cultures. Forgive me if it is. Um, you're dealing with human issues, okay? Childhood trauma. Shadow work that you didn't do, okay? Self-love that you're not giving yourself. You know, love that you didn't get from a parent. You're dealing with human issues, all right? You're not dealing with, like, fifth dimension and beyond, which is where the twin flames relate, all right? You are a god if you're watching this. I need you to understand that. You are a goddess, okay? But I also need you to understand that there's no gender when you start talking into these different realms, okay? There's no gender. There's no human issues. There's no depression. There's no anxiety, okay? There's not even, like, freaking happiness as where does that make sound? These things don't exist. These emotions, these are three, four D type dimensional things, all right? You're dealing with human issues when you have a twin frame relationship and you guys keep coming together magnetically, you're charged up, oh my God, it's so amazing, and poof, it's just freaking explosion and you guys just hate each other. You really don't hate each other, but you know that you can't stand thinking about one person all the time. It freaking bothers you. It's like, ah, oh, get out of my head. Ah, oh, get out of my heart, okay? You don't have that with a soulmate. Whether it's romantic or... um just a friend or just a person, okay? I've met soulmates that I probably won't see again in this lifetime because I met them in random countries and remote locations. And I've met soulmates that I thought I wouldn't see again, that I didn't recognize as soulmates at the time, but I have seen them again, you know, like twice in my life at this point. But soulmates, soulmates really bring you peace, okay? Soulmates bring you harmony. Soulmates allows you the moment to slow down to just experience what you know you deserve, okay? Like, you know you deserve something better. You know you deserve something that's not toxic. Not saying that twin flames relationships are toxic. They can be. They're not until you try to hold on to something that's supposed to go. That's when it becomes toxic. But soulmates, you don't have that dynamic at all. You don't gotta worry about that, okay? Your soulmate is somebody that has also done the healing on their own. 
where they can they can come together in union with you. They don't have to bring their garbage from some other relationship. They don't have to bring their garbage from some other thing, some other trauma that's not healed. Okay? That's why I'm digging, but I'm, I'm really digging the soulmate type bond. I'll behave. <laughs> no, I, re I really am. Um, I think mostly because it's harmonious. You know, like I spoke about some of my Libra trades, some of my Taurus trades, you know, those are harmonious type things. Gemini is not necessarily harmonious, kind of all over the place in a, in a way, but it's not bad. Okay. Um, it's not bad at all. In fact, I love my Gemini. I have a Gemini in Venus and I love it. And I have a Gemini in the seventh house, which is the house of marriage. And that, that guides me, it shows me, um, you know, how I approach relationships, how I, how I grow in relationships. I'm smiling. I'm smiling. And I'm going to say, please go ahead, subscribe. If, if, you, if you need comments, if you need uh, some updates on your particular situation, you really want to dive in on just your situation, go ahead, please reach out to me. This is why this channel exists. Reach out to me. Send me a message. If you want to do a meditation with me or a natal chart reading right now, they're both the same price. Okay. They're both the same length. It's going to be $44 right now until September 23rd. It's going to go up to $88. So that's something that you should just know. Just a twin flame soulmate relationship dynamic, okay? A lot of times the twin flame will come and you'll split and you'll come again, you'll split. The time frame is never distinguished. It's really all a matter of how and when you do the work on yourself. It's the only thing. Um, you probably can feel when your twin flame is watching you. You probably can feel when you know you wanna you wanna check up on them, but you don't want to. You know, the biggest thing with this is like just be honest with yourself. You know, don't try to lie, don't try to run. Uh, it only it only prolongs the time that you that you have a reunion with a soulmate. You know, it comes a lot of times, in my opinion, and I'm still new in the, in the soulmate area. I think really I, I've only really found one romantic soulmate in my in my life. And quite frankly, it's like I'm enjoying it, and I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna do anything against that. Like I'm gonna accept it. Like for me, I'm looking at it, it's like I'm accepting love into my life. And you know, if you feel that, if you resonate with that, and you feel like you want to accept love into your life then do it, you know, and don't carry the baggage from some other nonsense into something that could be beautiful. And don't, don't, and don't do it as a way to hurt somebody else, okay? Because karma is a mother, right? And retrograde is real. So we're going through retrogrades, I think on the ninth Aries are going back retrograde in Mars, and I'm in Aries. So, you know, <laughs> anything that I was doing that I shouldn't have been doing, I'm going to feel it. So, uh, I try to live my life the best and hopefully you do too. I try to live my life honestly with integrity and, you know, I'm doing the same thing with the information I'm giving you today, right now. Like I'm living with honesty, with integrity. I'm speaking from my heart. I'm speaking from real life instances. I could be hurting people right now with this message. It's not even my intention, but I only can speak my truth. And that's also how you know that you can get the truth from me when you come and you sign up for one of these, uh, these calendar dates. Pick a time, pick a date. Right now, I think my calendar is, I don't know. You can just check it. You can pick a time, pick a date, and uh, I'll do one of those readings for you. For me, there's no time limit on that. I'm not going to stop you at an hour. You know, like, we're going to get what we need to get out of this. You're going to come with a question, and, you'll, and, and, we'll, and we'll grow together. So thank you for these, the updates. I want to give you more information like this. Excuse me. I've taken some time. I had to get this new spot. My Wi-Fi and other places wasn't working. Uh, thank you for not judging me wearing my boxers because I'm comfortable. Play it, play it. Subscribe, baby. I'll see you soon. Like this and share this with somebody who you know is dealing with a twin flame, soulmate type confusion. And hopefully this gives them clarity like it gave you. Peace, love, happiness. Eat, pray, love. I got a new one that I created. It was uh, love hard. Cry softly. And live dangerously. I just made that last one up. Play, play, huh? Subscribe.